Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Daily IoT. You didn't think I was gonna be back today, did you? I knew it. But here we are. And so today, just a quick uh, preview, not preview, recap of the morning. Uh, I get up early every morning, I'm working on a course for the Particle Photon. Um, it's called the Fridge Eye course. So I'll put a link down in the description below. You can check that out if you want to. But uh, so I spend a couple of hours working on that every morning. And as part of that work this morning, I spent about two hours on the Losant, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, platform for Internet of Things. It's called an Enterprise Internet of Things platform. And so it's uh, spent about two hours working on it this morning. And you know, it was kind of a slow start. It was, a, it was a little tough to get up to speed. There's a lot of moving pieces in Losant that you have to figure out before you can actually get something to work. But once all of those things click and you realize how powerful of a platform it is, things speed up quite a bit. And so with two hours, uh, I didn't read any of the documentation, just fumbling around and figuring it all out. In two hours, I was able to get a dashboard up and running that showed the temperature coming from a particle photon from a temp sensor, as well as the uh, light status, uh, whether the fridge door is open or not, that's part of the project, um, as well as a graph over time of the temperature. So not bad, uh, about two hours uh, to get that up and running, like I said, without reading any of the documentation. So uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, something that you should definitely check out if you want. They have a free tier. I think with Losant, it's like a million web requests, so a million reports from the Photon up to Losant uh, per month, up to 10 devices, and things like that. So if you wanna play around with it, you definitely have plenty of room within their free tier to do that. So, all right, enough of that. The project of today is I've got these LED light strips that I wanna hook up to the bottom of my scooter. I've got the lithium um, iron phosphate battery powering it, which by the way has worked out really well. I get several hours of that, uh, the kids riding around um, before I have to charge that. So um, the, the scooter itself is in a working state and it drives around, but it's not as awesome as it could be. Um, and so I wanna stick these LED strips underneath of it, kind of like the old ground effects for anybody that was around when that was super cool in high school. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be working on today. do this. We don't have a way the LED strip runs off of 5 volts. The scooter runs at 24 volts. So that battery, that iron phosphate battery, uh, is 24 volts. This battery is right there. 24 volts, 20 amp hour. So, super beefy, but it's 24 volts. We need five volts to run the LED strip, and not just the LED strip, but we need to control the LED strip with something. And so, I, I think I'm gonna use a particle photon. Photon's what I'm most recently familiar with, so I'll use that. It runs at, I think up to seven volts it can take as an input and step it down to 3.3, which is the native voltage on it. And so we need a way to get 24 volts down to five volts. And for that, I have something. I got my box of scooter parts here, charger, cables, connectors. But this thing right here. is what's gonna get us down to five volts. Put 24 volts in on this side, and we get five volts up to 10 amps out on this side. So I'm trying to decide if I break off of a wire down here from 24 volts to connect this to, or if I take apart the top here and tie in the 24 volts up here, and then I can probably stick my photon up in here and everything, and then just run anything I need out 
Okay, so really quick to wrap this episode up, um, I was gonna put the DC to DC converter up in the steering column, but it turns out there's 24 gauge wires, all I have to work with up there. And you have to be careful when you're running power that uh, you don't overstress the wire. That, that little wire um, is a conductor, and if you put too much current on it, it's gonna act like a heat coil, it's gonna heat up, sometimes it can burn up and, and break. And so uh, I had forgotten what it was, but 24 gauge wire can only hold about 600 milliamps of current, which the LEDs themselves are going to draw more than that. So I can't put the DC to DC converter up in the steering column um, because I don't have a heavy enough gauge wire up there. And so I'm, gonna, I'm back to putting it down by the motor controller and I don't have any, uh, all the wires that I have available down there that have 24 volts on them are also 24 gauge. And so I need some heavier duty wire to splice into and splice off of that 24 volts. So I'm gonna try and pick some of that up tomorrow and hopefully we can get back on track. I still think I'm gonna put the photon up in the steering column. That way I don't have to worry about it getting wet or dirty. And then um, I'll run the, the signal wires down through the steering column to control the LEDs. So that's where we're at for today. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning all about the internet of things one day at a time. Hey everyone, one more thing before you go. As part of this journey, I am putting content out all over the place, not just on my YouTube channel. I'm putting things out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, my blog, and I've got links for all those things down below in the description. It would mean a ton if you would check those out and hit me up there. I would love to hear from you. If you wanna DM me on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, uh, leave a comment on the blog, uh, that would be awesome. I appreciate everybody watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.